think a lot of producers and production teams are perhaps scared of HD, but the reality is it's as easy as producing in standard definition. Where people who don't work in television have seen it, they can't quite put their finger on what it is about HD that makes it look so good. The lines of resolutions, which are 1080, are genuine. It's not made up by electronic trickery in the camera. It is a quantum leap from PAL or NTSC. It just looks so much cleaner. As a producer, when you've used HD, you don't really want to use any other form of recording. We're now at the stage where I can take the rushes straight from a player, like a JH3, to an offline laptop edit system. I can make my decisions in the office, and then I can use my online time for the creative parts of the production. It's cost effective. It means that I'm using relatively cheap kit to make most of my decisions before I go into the more expensive suite to do my online conform. And then if I want to, to grade the pictures as I would normally. This suite actually works in standard definition and high definition. We have all the components that you need to make a TV programme, which will include colour grading, DVE, captions. And from a producer's point of view, the process is exactly the same. The first project we did was progressive scan, so it looked straight away far more like film, which was exciting. And I knew that the pictures we were looking at here on our 24-inch colour monitor would stand up projected on a cinema screen. It made us realise we could go into new markets like feature film production, and that was a, a realistic possibility. Because I would say that for the first time, HD cam is a video format that's viable for film production. When producers first see HD, uh, they're initially blown away by the resolution of it. There is more image to see, you know, it's literally that simple. So it is breathtaking. It's a case of exploiting the effects that you have in the most effective way, and the x really lets you do that, particularly with the layering and the motion effects. Other editors who've seen it, the first thing they said was that it looks like an advert. A lot of people wouldn't believe the effects were done in the x -Bri. They were convinced we must have gone into Flame or Inferno to create the effects that we did. Promotions for ITV Network are starting to shoot more and more on high definition, partly because of the quality and partly because of the cost. They use 16 mil historically, so they wanted to capture things with a progressive motor to make it look like a film. And once they saw some of the results, they continued to uh, shoot that way. Obviously, it's now converted and transmitted on DigiBeta, but it still retains the quality. A lot of people that see HD for the first time actually perceive it to be better than film. From a career perspective, the opportunities presented today are phenomenal, and the rate of change in the work I'm doing, and the kind of quality improvement in images, uh, Hey, I'm, I'm having a ball. This is really, really exciting time. From HD, we've been able to create slow motion that is, let us say, completely indistinguishable from the full frame original material. I can see TV production across Europe has got to go HD. Um, there's no doubt about it. We saw the advent of, uh, of DigiBeta. It's only a matter of time before everything goes the HD route. Even as a producer who may be making some standard definition shows in the UK, my choice now is to shoot in HD because I know that anything that I record has got a future shelf life and may be able to sell into other outlets in the years that lie ahead. With standard definition, that's just not the case.